Hello YouTube viewers, welcome to the Satellite Beach Live YouTube channel. Today's video is another in our series of videos on the people that help make the Satellite Beach Farmers Market a special place for residents of the Space Coast. Today we'll go behind the scenes with Kathleen, the owner of the Utter Delight Dairy Bar, a very popular food truck featuring ice cream, tropical milkshakes, and treats of all kinds. Let's talk to Kathleen as she prepares for the weekly opening of the Farmer's Market in Satellite Beach. How did you, how did you get into this business? I know you kind of picked it up from your husband. Did he originally start it? Or? So it was going to be a sort of a joint venture. My husband had worked in kitchens his whole life and was, you know, nearing retirement age and had always talked about being his own boss. And um, we kind of said, we're going to take the opportunity. And we bought a little tiny trailer and we gutted it and kind of put it together the way that we wanted it. We knew we were just gonna sell ice cream, so it was gonna be fairly simple. So we put it all together. Um, we learned many things along the way, um, including just selling ice cream with the state of Florida doesn't mean anything. You still have to like have your licenses and inspections and um, registrations and every municipality you have to have some kind of business tax receipt with. So we learned along the way. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and then we started very small at the, at the farmers markets. We started going out on the weekends, taking the trailer out. Um, and gradually we would come in contact with other people. We were constantly searching events um, and getting ourselves involved. We got very involved in the community, um, started supporting things like Police Athletic League, um, and started working with um, different kinds of events throughout Brevard County and sort of built our reputation from there. That's pretty cool. So it was, it was uh, an evolutionary kind of a story. It was, it was. It was, it was something to keep him busy so that he mm -hmm. wasn't completely retired. <laughs> That's fair, right? I still, you know, this was for Ron and I. It truly was. It was not something that I intended to do by myself. I have another career that I do. I'm a midwife. I deliver babies. Um, so how do you balance that with this? I mean, how do you find the time? It's definitely, well, you know, I, I lost Ron in August. Um, he was diagnosed with lung cancer. Mm. Um, and he passed very quickly. Um, and I had stepped away a little bit to take care of him. Um, and so when I went back, I just went back part-time. And I haven't really, I, I feel like part-time is enough for me right now. I've been a midwife for 30 years. I've delivered probably 3,000 babies over the years. <laughs> I've wow. trained a lot of students. I'm not done with it yet, but I'm, I'm stepping away a little bit. And this takes some of my time. I, it was never really supposed to be just me. It was supposed to be the two of us together. Mm. So it's been a little bit of a challenge to, to have to step up and take the responsibility for everything. But trust me, I hear him telling me stuff all that he's like, don't forget about this and don't do that. And I told you so. And I was like, yes, I, I, I do hear you, my friend. <laughs> I'm sure he appreciates your carrying on the mm -hmm. torch. I, I hope so. You know, we worked on this for the last year, um, and um, he never got the opportunity to come out in the big truck. Mm. Um, but we had it almost we we had it inspected and ready to go in July, um, and he passed in August. So he never got the opportunity to come out in the big truck with me. But I know he was just so proud of the fact that you know we started with a a little nothing trailer that we gutted and put together and learned along the way and we've really kind of you know graduated and um, we have a great reputation out in the community you know we get sought out a lot and um, we have a good product we have good value um, we really have great quality uh, hopefully we'll just keep on going on for a while longer here that's a great story thanks you know story. you've got a lot of um, recipes here and you've got all these different flavored shakes and things I mean there must have been so that's kind of that that is actually what we call our like our hook so um, Ron and I lived down in the United States Virgin Islands on St. Thomas um, back in uh, 2012 2013 I worked down there as a nurse midwife at Schneider Medical I was down there on a contract and while we were down there we came upon this little dairy um, 
and it was an ice cream store that sold all kinds, sold milk and butter and ice cream. And one of the things they sold was ice cream shakes that had liquor in it, like real liquor in it. <laughs> okay. And down stuff. there, there was no problem with that whatsoever. Um, and so actually when we came back to the United States and we started talking about our own business, we sort of wanted to model it after them. So some of the shakes on my board are like completely taken off of their menu. The Jococo, the Jamoco, um, the, the Banana Quit, a lot of those are completely, completely directly off of their menu, but they've had to be modified to meet the state of Florida. I can't just sell alcohol. <laughs> I am not a bar. <laughs> but I can go under the Florida confection law. So as long as I meet the Florida confection law, I can put a little bit of liqueur in each one of my shakes. So it's sort of a, um, a little treat with an adult twist, so to speak. Yeah, I, I saw that on the business card. That's a perfect way of putting it. I yeah. had your rum runner and it was awesome. That was really good. There, there's, it depends on what you're looking for. We go, we tried to go very tropical with it because of course it was the island. So we have some kinds of ice creams and shakes that you won't get other places. Coconut, banana, pineapple. Um, and so those combinations, when they come together, they make pina coladas and rum runners and painkillers and, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. and all kinds of delicious combinations. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you've got quite a list of shakes out there. I right? do indeed. I'm, I'm so impressed. that's probably, I mean, probably one of our most popular menu items, of course, is the milkshakes. And they can be made without the liqueur for the young ones, but I can also make it out of my delicious ice cream, just a, 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 a vanilla or a chocolate, you know, or a strawberry if that's what you're looking for. Okay. Sounds like it's pretty Something for everyone, you yeah. know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so some of the milkshakes you uh, learned from other places and some you developed on your own? It's probably a half and half. Some of them okay. we try to, some of them, like I said, are, are almost directly off of the, the Utter Delight menu down there in St. Thomas. But that dairy has since closed, which is such a huge shame because it was yeah. there for so many years. So we sort of feel like we're continuing on their legacy gotcha. a little bit. Not are you here pretty much every week? I try to come here on Thursdays um, just to sort of give myself a little bit of a home base so people can find me on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. But other than that, I, I do all kinds of other community events. So it just depends on what's going on. I do the Melbourne Farmers Market on Saturday sometimes. Mm -hmm. But if there's community events, like I was just down in Sebastian for their Earth Day Festival um, a couple of weeks ago. And I, I just, did, we did the most wonderful uh, Latin block party down in Felsmere just a week or so ago. It was amazing. A fantastic concert. We all had a great time and we were out there dancing in our <laughs> in our ice cream suits. <laughs> That's, wonderful. That's wonderful. So so you do these other locations. If people wanted to find you online to find where you're going to be, where would they go? So I'm on I'm on Facebook. I'm I also have a presence on Instagram and Twitter, but I'm old and I don't know as much about those as I do about posting on Facebook. So every week I do put my locations up so people can know where to find me during the week. And if they want to message me, they can message me through there. I've gotten a lot of people that ask, can I do private events? And we do. We've done some birth. I've got a graduation party coming up at the end of the month. Um, we actually did their last graduation party for two years ago for the son. And now it's the daughter's turn. Oh, so yeah. it's <laughs> the initial taste test that you're saying everybody had to. Uh, everybody try and had to come and give us our comments back. This is too sweet. This doesn't have enough of this in it. This should have more of this, so that we refined our menu down. Um, and now it's we, people take it and they're just like, "This is the best milk check I've ever had." And I'm like, "Oh, it really, I it really." warms sure. my heart to hear that yeah, because yeah. we work so hard on the menu sure you know makes makes me feel like we we did it for a reason that is that's a great story Congratulations. <laughs> and while i was visiting with kathleen i tried one of her rum runner tropical shakes and it was wonderful 
I can see why Utter Delight is in such high demand at local events here on the Space Coast and why we're lucky to have them as a regular at the farmer's market. Don't forget to subscribe to the Satellite Beach Live YouTube channel where you'll meet other people from the farmer's market and see what's happening on the Space Coast.